Nick is back with tons more heat. Let's hop in the Subi, you can take the front seat with a mic in my hand and a cam by my side. I'm bringing you updates, no need to hide. Repping the merch, the brand in bold. Beanies to keep you cozy and the jackets for the cold. Sipping from a mug, big bear style. Funny designs that will make you smile. Gifts for the kids, your dad and your mom. Check it out at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Good, beautiful morning, everybody. It's April 5th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. It's 8 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we had a decent amount of snow overnight. I think at my place we got, and I'm saying decent because, you know, it is Big Bear. So a lot of people might laugh, but I think we got about two or three inches of snow at my, at, at my place. But we're going to go to the snowiest part of the valley. And I think they probably got probably maybe five or six inches over there so let's get ready to see that that's where we're going it's really cold out here it's 23 degrees the roads are mighty slick mighty mighty slick being here hope you enjoy the update and if you really enjoy the update go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get some merch support the channel i appreciate it thanks guys yeah you guys you need to need to get up here soon if you want to go skiing or snowboarding you're gonna have to hurry up Aftermath video tomorrow. What is this guy doing? Come on, dude. Jeez, man. Unbelievable, these people. When we do the aftermath tomorrow, there's going to be significantly less snow out there. Actually, it might not be that significant now that I'm thinking about it because, uh, today we're not supposed to get much warmer than we are right now and the low temperature could get all the way down to like 10 degrees which could be the coldest night of the season i don't remember another 10 degree night during the winter we just had maybe there was Yeah, for you skiers coming up here and you need to rent your skis and snowboards right up here on the left hand side you've got get boards they are the best up here best staff best equipment best pricing best everything on the corner right here of alden that's their snowboard shop on the corner of alden and big bear boulevard and their er, no, no sorry that's their ski shop here's their snowboard shop on the corner of knickerbocker and big bear boulevard and then right here, you got Pine Knob Boulevard, which is Big Bear's beautiful village. So we're gonna go through the village. And then one more plug, right across the street from Get Boards uh, Ski Shop off of Alden right there, is Big Bear Smoke and Bait. And the owner, Sahil, is one of the nicest people. He 
you guys, if you guys knew how nice he was to me when I moved up here, just made me feel like I was right at home. I want everyone to support his business, even if, if you're not into the whole smoke and vape thing. They have other stuff there too. Give him a shot, please. He's he's a really, really nice man. Um, and unlike most other businesses up here, he doesn't he doesn't gouge you guys. He's very fair. I know a lot of people who live up here will drive down the mountain and do all their shopping for everything because it it will save them money. But he's he's one of the few shops up here where you don't have to leave the mountain to uh, get similar prices that you would get down the mountain. I know that's not saying much these days because of how crazy the inflation is out there. I mean, how crazy is it, you guys? snow heaven this is just so beautiful So we have a friend on this channel, he and his family were going to be, and they've been telling me about it for the past maybe two years now, <clears throat> that they're going to be opening up a Mexican restaurant up here. He has a successful chain of Mexican restaurants down in Orange County and the Los Angeles area. I think that they might have like five or six locations. And now he's not going to be opening up up here and he's unfortunately going to be closing down a couple of his locations. And it just breaks my heart and it's all because of the, the uh, minimum wage being super high. I, you know, good, good for the workers, right? But I mean, like, I think he was saying he's closing three of his locations and he's laying off over 70 people. And that's, that's just, that's just super rough, you guys, man. Like, uh, again, like, I couldn't be happier for workers to make more money. But it has to make sense all the way around. And what's what's happening, and he's a pure example, is that people are starting to uh, lay people off, lose their businesses, really, really, really jump into the automation. And prices for all of us are, are, are skyrocketing. hurts everybody even the worker making a ton of money because every, all the prices for everything are going to go up for them their rent's probably going to go up because the people who own their property are paying out their rear end for everything now they can't afford to be nice about the rent it's just tough you guys Again, like super, super great that people are making that, but it's just not working out. It's just not working out. I couldn't imagine making 20 bucks an hour to uh, just do a basic job. I do 
think it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thought to try to take care of people like that. But like, just like basic economics. I mean, basic economics. It's just such a horrible idea. And in so many other states, the minimum wage is still under 10 bucks an hour. Which, I don't know how anyone's supposed to live off of 10 bucks an hour. But in California, how are you supposed to live off of 20 bucks an hour? With the price of everything skyrocketing. I mean, I've, I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. It is craziness what's going on in this state. Is it affecting you guys? Or am I just whining like a little baby? Trust me, not trying to get political at all. Like that's like not the point here. I was just thinking about my friend and he's of Mexican descent. His family came over here two generations ago funny enough through the front door and uh, now he is having to tell like 70 people that they don't have a job anymore all because of uh, the $20 minimum wage I wish I had a way to help him out what I would definitely do for him for sure is if he still found a way to bring his business up here, I'd promote them for sure. Not that I, 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 I have a big outreach, but I would be willing to do that for the guy. Like, he's, 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 he's an angel. He's a really, really good dude. Sorry for even bringing that up, you guys. I, as I said, I was I was reading an email I got from him this morning, and uh, it just kind of crushed me. Because he's the example of the American dream. At least the last little strings that are held on to of it still being alive. And reading his message kind of... Uh, I don't know. Not kind of. It really, really breaks my heart. Anywho, we're entering the snowiest part of Big Bear. Temperatures hovering around 25 degrees. We are going this direction to avoid the traffic coming into town. It's not much, but you don't get the uh, any traffic at all going this way. And I just really enjoy going super slow, taking my time, not worried about anyone on my tail or anyone in, in front of me. Yeah, they got about five inches over here. I can tell by, by looking at the railings and, and the rooftops and stuff like that. But man, it's so pretty over here. Man, oh man, oh man. Man, I am so into this song. Like, I was never an Ed Sheeran fan, you guys. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but he, he just doesn't look like what comes out of his mouth. Like, I, I, I just can't get used to it. But then when I saw a collaboration between he and Andrea Bocelli with that song, Perfect, now I'm a fan for sure. Ah, it was beautiful, my gosh. He travels out to Italy and uh, goes to Andrea's house and 
they just have a lot of fun together and uh, do a collaboration on that song. Perfect. All these people coming in. Have fun, guys. Enjoy Big Bear. Yeah, doggy. I could have pulled over or pulled them over and asked them how was traffic driving up. Clearly it doesn't look too bad, but once you get to the Big Bear Dam, that's when things can get a lot different. Not look as bad, but a lot of times, even though there's hardly any cars coming into town, driving up the mountain up to Running Springs or Snow Valley area can be really, really, really bad. And apparently there is a massive, massive pothole over here that is literally damaging a ton of cars that just popped up and was a lot deeper as of like a day and a half ago. I didn't see it last night and I was trucking, just trucking slowly along here, but I did not see it last night. So I'm wondering where it is because I don't want you guys to hit it. What I read is that basically every car that hits it is coming out with really awful damage. And it, it was apparently on this side of the road that we're, we're driving on now. Okay, temperature's 24 degrees. Oh wow, it's so pretty out here. How are you guys today? How's everyone's April 5th starting off? I hope everything's going good for you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys make me very happy. You guys are the family that I, I never had and always, always wanted when it comes to feeling like you're my siblings. I have six older brothers and sisters and the good thing is if you've watched this channel for years, you know that over the years uh, um, I haven't had any relationship with, with them. And now as uh, time's gone, gone by here and uh, people are growing and uh, it seems like some of us are starting to reach out to each other. Here's a, a big pothole, but that's not the one. Starting to, uh, to reach out to each other. So of my seven siblings, I'm talking to, or six siblings, I'm talking to three of them now. <clears throat> and funny enough, they're my three favorite ones. The other ones, couldn't care less. I know that's harsh to say, but uh, <clears throat> not much of a loss as far as I'm concerned. But you guys filled, filled, filled that void for so many years. And uh, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for treating me like a big brother, a younger brother, um, thank you. <clears throat> Let me get choked up here. Thank you so much. I'm a very, very happy guy because of you guys. Your support has been epic. All right, let's see here. So we're looking out there towards Snow Valley Ski Resort. Chains are definitely, well, the sign says chains are required, but that doesn't mean they are. However, I would be willing to bet they are required, guys. Go to the Caltrans website or download the Caltrans Quick Map app on your phone. And it's very easy to see what's going on. It's the most up-to-date source you can get. passenger side window so we can get some unobstructed views here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Still 24 degrees. We've got 220 miles till empty and it's 834 in the morning. I woke up quick 
at about eight just thought that I had to drive around Big Bear. I'd be the worst rapper in the world, even though I do have some rap videos now. Let me try to figure out a nice rap for that. Woke up quick at about eight. Looked like it was about to stop snowing late. See, I'm, that's horrible. I mean, horrible. I gotta get driving before the day begins, before my mama starts beep about my friends. About to go, dang near went blind. Young Nick at the path, throwing up snow signs. This is just so beautiful out here. Oh my gosh, it's so peaceful. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Again, guys, I am so lucky to live up here. I'm more lucky though to have you guys in my life. I will never stop telling you guys how important you are to me. Look at, we got some water flowing and it's 23 degrees. Hey there, Mr. Plow. Mr. Plowman. Flowing the road. Hey, I need your honest opinion. I know my beard's kind of in that middle stage right now where like if I keep it going, I'll eventually love it once it gets a little longer, but it's at that stage where I'm like so ugly. What do you guys think? I'm really wanting to keep it, but what do you guys think? As I said, I, I get to this point and then it's like, if I can just push through another like month and a half or two months, it'll get longer to where it, it starts to look good again. But what do you guys think? Mr. Snowman. You guys, wouldn't it be nice to wake up in one of these houses over here to the left? After a nice, beautiful, snowy evening. Wake up to this view over here. Potentially, I'm gonna say we're gonna get one more inch. That's my prediction. And I think my prediction for this whole storm was it is gonna be right on. I said about three or four inches total. It, where I live, of course, you just saw over by the Big Bear Dam, they had about four inches, maybe five inches. let this guy behind us pass when we get a chance right up here here's a big plowski hey there oh another big plowski that would be a fun job for me guys
this guy going to give me love? Say thank you? Of course not. Seriously. That's why I don't like doing that. Even though it's the right thing to do and I'll always do it. You guys, when you come up here, this is going to sound stupid and nitpicky. But when you when when someone lets you pass, hit your hazards as you're passing them just to say thank you or wave like thank you um it just makes things go smoother up here you get so many just i don't know <clears throat> even though technically that's the rule of the road is if, if you're holding up traffic even if you're going <clears throat> the speed limit or faster if you're still holding up traffic you need to let other people pass but just have a little bit of common courtesy. I kind of hope the dude in front of him doesn't let him pass now. Again, I know that's so childish. <laughs> uh, it's, too, it's early in the morning, so I'm, I'm a little bit uh, in a flustered type of a mood because it is early. And then I read that sad, sad message from our friend on the channel. But yeah, whenever someone lets you pass, show them love. It'll make you feel good, it'll make them feel good. And it just keeps that that attitude of gratitude going. It's gonna keep you wanting to help. Coming up here on the right hand side is a resort we're going to be staying at hopefully in the next month or so. I'd rather stay there during the snow, but my wife and I really do want to stay here. It's not on Expedia or Hotels.com. You have to go to the OutpostBigBear.com to be able to book a room here. That's why I've, I've never stayed here nor heard much about it until I started really looking into it. We're in fawn skin now and it's coming up on the right hand side here. It's a cute little five or six, seven uh, cabin type of a, a place behind this fence right here. And it's right on Grout Creek Tributary. Here it is right here. There's no one behind us, so we're not holding up any traffic, but yeah. Remember, you have to go to the outpostbigbear.com. You, you can't, you, you won't be able to find it to book a place on any of the normal booking apps. And this is a, a great spot if, if you guys are trying to stay away from all the tourism and the hustle and bustle and the craziness that goes on on the other side of the lake. Really quiet over here. They still get a good amount of snow. Here's the tributary that it sits on right here. Again, just 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 a wonderful spot peaceful quiet and the owners seem like they're super cool cool people as a matter of fact they're all like incredible professionals two of them are professional stunt men and stunt women um, and uh, one of them is like the world's best female motocross person or like something like that and then uh, one of them is a senior writer for ESPN. How crazy is that? All right, well, we're through downtown Fonskin now. We made it in one piece now.
we're out of the downtown by the fawn skin here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, cheerio. Twenty-five degrees. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting some nice, nice snow coming down, as you can see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Again, guys, how you doing, huh? Hope you're enjoying this spectacular day. It's, again, it's so beautiful out here. For me, this is heaven. This is heaven on earth. Driving with my windows down, mid-20s. Have the heat blasting. Oh yeah, it's just so perfect. never noticed that that brown house right there to the left most of the house was was garages that was kind of weird but cool at the same time and here's here's someone who's holding everybody up it's people like that in this red truck that are just clueless who should pull over and let everyone pass but again who am i i'm nothing I'm not the owner of the road, but I'm just trying to give you guys suggestions to get along better up here. That's all. And there's no one behind me. As I said, we're going against, against the grain right now. And so if we do get any traffic behind us, we will pull over and let them pass. Because that's just what we do, yo. Turn up the heat a little bit on the defrosting side of things. We are about out of fawn skin altogether. But again, cute little town. If you guys want to come up here and not be around all the people, this is one of the few spots that you want to try to find your Airbnb or your hotel. Not many hotels on this side. I think there might be like, you know what? I'm not even going to guess. <clears throat> Maybe like one or two that you can find online. We're out of Fonskin. We're gonna turn right here and take this little side road that goes down by one of our, our biggest areas for camping. Is this it right here? Yep. So we're turning off of North Shore, AKA Highway 38. And this is one of our biggest campsites up here on the left and right hand side. Um, I don't know why I'm forgetting the name, probably because it's so early in the morning. But let me see. It's huge, guys. It is absolutely huge. A 
and the observatory, the solar observatory is coming up here on the right hand side. We have a video, we got a private tour of the solar ob observatory, so you guys should check it out. It's called the Serrano Campground. Here is the observatory at the end of this path here. There it is. As I said, I think it's our biggest campground and I don't even think there's like a close second. Six degrees. So, again, guys, this little road that we took is, is called like North Shore Lane or something, and it just takes you to these little campsites campgrounds and trailer parks nice trailer parks so we're about to end up back at North Shore Highway 38 right at this stop sign here we go we're back here at, at, the, at the main drag North Shore Lane that is what it's called and here we go oh hey now I'm an all-star Cruising in the passenger seat and just enjoying yourself with me. Something you guys will be really proud of me for. So I've, I've been going through about two cans of Zin per day for about four years. And they haven't had enough long-term studies to see what those nicotine pouches can end up doing to you. The only warnings that those straight nicotine pouches give you is that it's very addictive. There's nothing about the C word or anything like that, but some of the things I've been feeling are, are not good. And as I said, there's no way they've had this product on the market long enough to do any long-term studies. So as April 1st came, not an April Fool's joke, I, 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 I quit using it, which has been tough, and I have not slipped up once. I've been using the patch to get through it. But I thought you guys would be proud of me. And the worst thing is that I have like 20 cans at home. Usually when, when people quit smoking or anything like that, they like finish what they have and then they quit. Like I've got all this temptation lying around. So I know you guys are proud of me. I'm proud of myself.
we're gonna take Stanfield cut off. This guy needs to slow his butt down. Jeez Louise. Yeah, guys, be very, very, very careful driving up here in these conditions, please, because uh, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about other drivers who are going to cause you problems. So just be very careful. All right, here we go. Stanfield cutoff, folks. Stanfield cutoff. Get a nice beautiful view of what's going on over the lake right now the lake's a bit choppy right now as you guys can see look at that definitely not smooth at all right now and then looking out this side towards baldwin of course it's clear skies over there right over baldwin i can't wait to see the aftermath video tomorrow look at how beautiful that view is though wow and then back over here it's beautiful as well anyway guys i appreciate you cruising with me thanks again for everything i love you guys dearly 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 i have a lot of fun with you guys do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, oops, here we go. Hit that like and subscribe button, share the videos. Try to help me out. I feel like I've earned it, I really do. If you don't feel like I've earned it, then I definitely don't want a charity subscribe. And uh, secondly, again, if you guys want to support the channel, there's a couple different ways. One of them is to go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get some some merchandise that you can wear wear with pride and then there's other ways where you, where you can donate in the description of the videos there's my venmo cash app stuff like that if, if you guys are inclined to help it really does help a lot <laughs> so thanks again for everything you guys again go to get boards for your ski and snowboard rental needs and everything you need for skiing and snowboarding get boards their information is in the description of the videos as well and uh, again, if you mention that I sent you, they will take care of you and they'll wax your skis and snowboards for free if you bring in your own equipment and you mention you're a friend of the channel. They are just so wonderful over there. So thank you guys for everything. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. It is April 5th, 2024. And uh, let's get it, folks. Let's get it. Take care. Bye.